Well, the project is uh, they took the intersection here and, and installed a roundabout. Uh, we were picked by the town of Windsor to uh, design and manage this project, which uh, we took from basically a concept level to a final design and then supported it during uh, the construction phase. We knew that the intersection was not very uh, busy all the, all the time, but it was busy during peak hours of the school pickups in the morning and the afternoons. School pickup and school drop off, the queue to turn down Windsor Road was huge. Waiting to go drop off their child at school when it was taking a half hour just to get to school that was half a mile away. I think that was the biggest appeal to the roundabout was that there was no real stoppage and you didn't have a queue from Windsor Road, you know, out to McDonald's, just sitting there trying to go to school. The project, you know, began, began with a, a concept phase where we looked at both the traffic signal and a roundabout and did a full operations analysis, safety analysis. One of the uh, key features of, uh, of the roundabout was that the roundabout reduced the points of contact, I think what the term is, is how uh, vehicles circulate through an intersection. and. And in the signal line intersection, I think there's 32 points that they're called that uh, uh, vehicles can can collide in a, in a four-way intersection. In a roundabout, it reduces the uh, the points to about, I believe, eight. The roundabout clearly showed that it was going to be better. It was going to save the town and the public quite substantially over a 20-year 20-year period. The interesting part of this project really is that it has train tracks running directly through it. So that's a, a rarity. And uh, GHD uh, did the design and we worked with Matt Worglia and Doug w Rise uh, quite a bit on that and that's kind of their speciality. And uh, because it was such an interesting, it's always interesting to do the train tracks. So everything had to work with SMART as well. So it is unusual. The primary challenge, I think, was designing roundabout around a uh, railroad and needing to conform to the grades of the railroad. You know, we couldn't change the grade of the railroad, couldn't change the grades of the surrounding areas because it was all essentially built out. We've coordinated with SMART with John Riley and his group over there in uh, making sure that this one met all the PUC requirements. Uh, there's pedestrian uh, signal arms, there's the traffic signal arms coming into a roundabout with the signal arms is always a little bit tricky. Uh, there was some little changes to allow the signal arms to drop between the rock formations that, that we put. The middle of the roundabout, um, it was an art feature. They consider it kind of an art feature because we had special masons bring, put in a rock formation and some lighting in the middle of the uh, roundabout and um, there was a lot of care and consideration taken into it. It was actually went to the Arts Council to get some uh, some feedback on how the rock design was going to be inside and we were limited. It's a small little center and there's a train running through it so it's not like we could do a lot in there. We were limited. They didn't want water. They didn't want landscaping in there, but they did do a good art rock formation in the center of the roundabout. The rock wall um, has twinkle lights. Uh, the company that designed it, uh, he loves to go to Burning Man and come in and uh, I think that uh, when the lights are operating in, in the evening, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, of course, the trains, when they come through, they interrupt those lights and uh, have a nice, safe railroad crossing. We had the A-team, um, we had, the, the contractor was amazing, Gelati, um, their, sub, their subcontractors, Mike Brown and um, Symmetry Labs and a, a host of others. Uh, the, the town themselves, um, GHD was involved, Green Valley was the construction manager, they did an amazing job kind of always rounding the troops up and getting everybody together when we needed to talk about something. Um, I really felt like it was a really good, um, one of the more positive experiences I've had um, when it comes to just uh, part, real true partnering and wanting the best solution um, to get the, the project accomplished. Even if we came across challenges, it was, let's figure this out together. You know, that was always the attitude. In my role, I make sure that uh, 
from a project management standpoint that we have a team in place for it. Uh, we've dealt with the town a lot over the years. Alejandro uh, Perez, who's one of the senior civil engineers for the town, I've worked with him for well over 10 years um, with a lot of different projects around town, uh, both on the private side and the public side. We do have residents who have uh, reached out to us and let us know that they saw, they, they witnessed the construction who live near near the uh, the intersection, and they witnessed the construction and were very very impressed with the with the contractor, with everybody involved, how how neat, how clean they were, and how how efficient their work was. They were fantastic. So the whole team, and we met, I'd say we met every other week for quite a long time through this project, and so they were very responsive. And we, you know, if there were resident requests, both the Green Valley as our construction management company and the inspector and Gelati made a great effort to speak to the residents. Speak, they went out and every time we closed a road for the different phases of construction, they went out and spoke to residents, put door tags on their um, houses so they were very available to everybody during the whole process. Mimi Arvin with uh, Green Valley uh, and her group Sean Lawson, Mel Manny, they did a wonderful job in the field uh, just making sure everything kept going from a construction management standpoint. Uh, they made sure that you know we were paid on time which is very important for a contractor um, but you know they have the city's interests in mind as well because they want to keep the construction going, they want the best product out there, and I think, you know, given all the unknowns that we encountered out there, uh, they were able to keep things going, and I can't call out uh, those guys enough. The ECA contractors and the city of Windsor uh, have were just absolutely wonderful. I can't say enough about them. This, I've been in the business for quite a while, and probably some of the best people I've ever worked with. They've always been cooperative. Uh, they've always been open to uh, ideas on how to improve things, how to make things flow better. Uh, I think this project was another example of what that cooperation means to both us, the public, and I think that the project itself turned out really well. Uh, there's challenges getting, um, uh, you know, the coordination and agreement um, and incorporating um, you know, design elements uh, that would meet, uh, you know, the railroad's requirements. Um, drainage was a big challenge, oddly enough. So there were, you know, trees, re trees that were replanted. We did some landscaping around. Um, there had to be LID, which is low impact development because of stormwater considerations, and they did a great job of landscaping all of that in. I've, I had before, when I was telling people about the idea of a roundabout, a lot of people always said, I had people who would tell me roundabouts are not, not what well, we don't need roundabouts, they don't work. And I had a lot, a lot of people push back, friends actually too. And one of the vo most vocal friends of mine who was always pushing negative against the idea now actually came back to me and says, you know what, your roundabout was actually right. I love the way it works. And now uh, we flow through that, uh, we flow through that intersection a lot. A lot better. My personal experience is that this this was the best that it, I was um, I participated in. I mean, I've I've had projects uh, where that's not been the case, um, so I've got that to draw draw from and compare it to kind of different experiences. And I, I do feel like this is one of the better, or if not the best, experience I've had, uh, where everybody just was on the same page and um, working to find solutions when. Thing, things were problematic. It's always hard to get more than two people in a room to do, you know, all go in the same direction. Uh, the commitment was there by all the people that were involved in the project, so that's what made this project kind of special, is uh, sometimes uh, you get a group of people that just sort of gel together and they're committed to the same thing and it just works out really well. And this was one of those projects. Everyone was committed to getting it done. And they had, I have to say that we had fun and there was, there was a lot of kindness involved as well. 
and um, that made a, a really good group of people. So that's why I'm so pleased to get an, that everyone's getting an award for this particular project because it was one of the best ones I've worked on.